Here's everything you need to know about Flinto to get started without reading the manual. To get your designs into Flinto, either drag images in from the finder, use the vector shape and text tools in the insert menu to design something right inside Flinto, or install our Sketch plugin and import your designs from Sketch into Flinto. To make your design interactive, add links. Select a layer, then click Create Link in the toolbar. Choose a target screen with the link line. At this point, you can open the preview and test your design. You aren't limited to tap. You can choose any gesture from this menu. Swipe gestures are especially cool. You can choose a transition from this list. But the heart of Flinto is in creating your own custom animated transitions. Click New Transition to enter the Transition Designer. At the start of the transition, the start screen is locked in place. You move the layers in the end screen to define a build-in animation for the end screen. At the end of the transition, the end screen is locked, and you move the layers in the start screen to define a build-out animation for the start screen. Make sure that the beginning of the transition looks like the start screen, and the end of the transition looks like the end screen. If you leave stray layers obscuring either of the screens, your transition won't look smooth. There's a lot you can do in the transition designer, and it's really powerful. We've got tons of tutorials about it on our YouTube channel. If you want to create an animation that exists within one screen, including scroll-based animations, those are behaviors. Behaviors are applied to groups, so select a group and click Behavior in the toolbar. In the Behavior Designer, you can add states, and in each state, modify the layers and the animation between states will happen automatically. You need to make your behavior interactive by adding links. Links in the Behavior Designer are just like links in the canvas, except they go between states instead of between screens. So those are the core concepts. We've got nearly a hundred other tutorial videos on YouTube, but you can probably figure everything out by just clicking around, right?